What's up, guys? Wavy here, bringing you another terrible video. And to for, well, first off, before I get into this, I just want to say the support the last few days have been insane. Like, I've gotten views, but never have. Like, I think the highest like, I got, I got a few videos with like three thousand, two thousand views, and that was, you know, fairly long ago. I mean, about a month ago, and before that, it was fairly long ago. Typically, I get about two to five hundred. Now. The thing with that is, it's like the last two days, one video got over 4,000 views, and I woke up today, and yesterday's video got over, and it's been less than like 12 hours, and it's got over 2,000 views. Like, the support and the feedback I've been getting from y'all in the comments as well has been insane. Like, I, I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, I couldn't ask for any, like, you know, any better support, honestly, and I just want to thank y'all for, you know giving me the feedback when i'm wrong you know telling me i'm wrong and not being dicks about it you know i appreciate that if i'm wrong i'm wrong um now i don't want to get on too long but let me get into this but um basically with this video um when i start this fight as you saw like i only went that way in order to get my souls again but what you want to do is don't worry about the way i'm fighting so much this is literally mold this is like the boss took me like 15 20 attempts like i beat radon in like three and i think he was the most frustrating boss before this 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 boss battle was hard because they're bulky they move around a lot they dodge so it's i can't really use my you know my troll killer on them to just like because it takes three of those to actually um make them go down now i keep him over in this area so by the time because when he gets to have health he has a little buddy come through and by that time, um, you want to make sure you're over here to, because he walks slowly towards y'all. So you have more time to fight this guy solo. Because when they both get there, it's when it can be an issue. Now, I recommend the way you do this is just play it carefully, especially if you're doing it solo with no uh, friends or summons. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Wow. Wow. I'm looking at the screen and I just noticed that I could have summoned this whole time for this fight and I never did. Wow. Well, anyways, yes, after, but who uses summons? I don't even use summons. I, I probably would have if I knew I could have, honestly, especially on this fight because this was the hardest one in the whole game so far. Um, and I'm actually on my way to fight Malina, so yeah. But nah, yeah, you want to keep them away from each other. The one with the twin swords, he's typically on your cheeks the most, you know. When he pulls out the axe, his moves are very slow, very easy to dodge. When he roars, though, don't try to go in in front of him. Try to get in behind him because when he slams his axe and you try to roll in for the animation, there's going to be a big explosion like that that literally just destroys you. So it's better to try to get behind him roll. Or just be a little more patient and wait for the final animation to end. This big dude, what he's going to typically do, you want to, because you usually have him on low health. So you want to basically try to get close to him, aggro him, and you want to get him to do certain attacks like that one. And then I messed up on it. But if you miss the first dodge, he'll jump up and then you can roll again. And that way it avoids the attack. And then you have a few shots to hit him. Like, I could have killed him right then and there, but I goofed. And he does a lot of moves where he'll jump into the air and slam down. One thing I highly recommend, because they both have movesets that are incredibly hard to dodge. I mean, typically you could dodge most of the attacks, but if they spam these movesets, it's really hard to dodge. When he has a sword out, the first gargoyle you're fighting, just don't even fight him. Just avoid him. Run away from him. It's easy to fight the twin blade dude, plus he's more aggressive. You know, it it's just not worth it because he has a few moves where he just basically whips the sword around a lot. You could dodge the first few, but you're basically just caught in a roll counter. You know what I mean? So there's really no reason to keep that up. Um, they're constantly going to be playing, um, putting out poison and stuff, which helps kind of distance themselves while they're doing that attack. Um, when he has his sword out, it's very hard to find a counter per se. The twin blade dude. He's fairly easy. His twin blades aren't as fast, and I got hit there, and then I didn't get hit there, so that gave me the chance 
to get that. And then, you know, that's when I was like, oh, he has one hit left. He has one hit left. I got to get him. But, you know, I was a fairly decent level. Don't, I tried armor. Don't, armor does not make much of a difference in this fight. I don't know. It's because they're gargoyles or whatever. Don't even waste your time with them. It's honestly not worth it at all. You know, I say have high health, low armor, deal as much damage as you can do. That's the way you want to go. So now that we got the first guy get down, now it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight. Now, I did try to be like, oh, it's just him now. Let me just get in there. You know, he doesn't have much health. I deal decent damage. But the twin blades are still decently hard to fight. So you do want to watch for that axe. Also, you don't want to get hit with that axe because it does slap a lot harder than the twin blade. Now, also, I do want to say this. Um... Guys, I have a good mic. I, I swear I have a good mic. I'm just not one of these YouTubers who are just very loud. You know, I'm not very loud because I personally don't like when YouTubers just scream and yell for no reason, which you typically see a lot nowadays. You know, I could just buy, yo, what's up? You know, nah, I, I could just do that. But, <laughs> you know, like who wants to hear that? in their ear if they have headphones on or if they're on a computer or on their phone max volume whatever no one wants to hear that um but yeah at this point this pretty simple like straightforward you just literally avoid a twin blade if you're good enough to dodge them take aggression of it at the final stage but when you're in the final stage it's pretty much cake not that hard i was just very very stressed very very upset the whole time so i just literally could not keep up with it like i just couldn't like i was just making dumb mistakes knowing what's gonna happen and i'll still mess up you know I'll still goof so this attack here he'll spin around jump now with that attack you actually when he jumps at you you actually want to jump with him in the direction he's going that way you fall in that little circle of his because if you dodge away from him You'll be just like, you know, far enough away from him to get hit by that attack. So if you dodge in a circle with him, not only do you get a chance to get a few, you know, depending on the weapon you're using, but with a great sword, you can get about two to three, four hits in. That's the perfect chance to attack him. But you need to make sure you dodge within his circle. You know what I mean? So this roar here, when he smacks, you know, there'll be an after attack. So you could try to dodge in at it, but then you'll get fucked up by the earthquake. So either try to go around or just wait for the animation to end. But moving forward from there, I do want to say, you know, <laughs> like, the support has been insane. I'm going to work on um, watching the comments. There's a few more videos I need to um, work on, too. Not sure when I'm really going to have the time. I might have time tonight when I get off of work because I'm actually recording this before I go into work. But, you know, guys, it, it, it's honestly what I saw, the likes, the views, the comments, you know. I, I, sometimes I'm just wrong and y'all tell me, you know, but I, I couldn't. And again, guys, you know, there's a discord in the description below. Please follow the discord, follow the Twitter. You know, I'm typically in discord. You can always DM me or post in a general and I might see it or whatever. Um, better to DM me. But if y'all, I don't know, like y'all want to be like, hey, you want to help me with this boss in Elden Ring? Hey, you want to PVP me in Elden Ring? Hey, you want to play some Valorant? You know, I'm... I'm down to switch games, you know, if y'all, even if y'all see me on Discord playing a completely different game, I'm down to play games with you guys, you know, I don't do this full time, I mean, I guess now I was kind of doing full time, but I don't do this, like, seriously, if I make a video, I make a video and I, put, and I post it, you know what I mean, but most of the time when I, you know, you see a lot of YouTubers who can't even enjoy video games anymore, like, why is every time you're playing a game, you're posting it? Like, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot came out. I did, like, one or two streams, and I was like, you know what? I want to play this by myself. I'm not going to just only play this when I feel like going live. So, I took it off the channel, and I beat the whole game 100% of that shit and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a game that I love. And I've always loved Souls games, and I love this game. But I enjoy giving these little guides because it helps some people. And sometimes people give me better versions of what I'm trying to do or say. You know, it's very, it's been very helpful. And you just see how long this late stage of the fight is taking. Like, just look how long it is. I ran out of potions. Like, you don't understand how nervous I was. Like, I literally ran out of potions. And I was in a Discord with the boys during this fight. And 
it was honestly crazy because I was just so hyped at the end. But, guys, I can't thank y'all enough. Honestly, you guys have been great. Um, I couldn't ask for a better um, fan base. But again, subscribe. Please subscribe, like the video. I did make a new Instagram that's also in the description. Well, might be in the description. I don't know. The Discord, please, please follow the Discord. I'm trying to get more people in there. We're currently at like 15, 20 people right now. I should plug it more, but I don't, and it's stupid. But, yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank you, honestly, for all the love and support. May the ring always be with you. And I hope this uh, tutorial helps you better. And it's always easier to watch. But yeah, baby out. Love you guys.